Welcome everybody, Josh here, back at again with a brand new YouTube video. So if you see an image of the Poe Dameron slash Finn image in the background behind me, that is going to be what we're going to be discussing. So today I have here a very special product review. This is going to be for the Finn jacket from F Jackets or Film Jackets as they like to be called. And I actually purchased this thing with my own money. This is something that I bought out of my own pocket. This is not something that they sent me. And I actually like to call this jacket the Poe Dameron slash Finn jacket just because of the fact that in The Force Awakens, as you guys know, Poe Dameron originally has this jacket. You can see him in the original opening act where he's kind of in the middle of that big giant galactic battle between the first order as well as the resistance and then the first order eventually finds the village and pretty much annihilates it and then eventually Poe Dameron gets captured by Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren interrogates him and then Finn and Poe eventually meet together. They escape from the Star Destroyer and eventually make it to Jakku. They actually crash their TIE fighter onto Jakku and then Finn actually pulls this out of the wreckage of the TIE fighter and then eventually Poe Dameron actually gives this jacket to Finn throughout the rest of the movie and you can actually see Finn in sort of that lightsaber duel between the traitor stormtrooper and Finn when he's actually holding the lightsaber and everything which I think is a pretty cool scene and also towards the end of the film where he goes off and fights against Kylo Ren in that sort of epic sort of you know Star Wars moment excuse me I do have sort of a coffee right now so it's kind of like melting as we were speaking but I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I think that this is a really fantastic looking jacket as you guys know I'm not a huge fan of the Disney sequel trilogy I'm a fan of The Force Awakens and Rogue One those are two of my favorite Star Wars movies I am a fan of the original trilogy as well as the prequel trilogy that's just the trilogies that I actually grew up on but I did enjoy my time seeing The Force Awakens I actually saw The Force Awakens several times in theaters a few times by myself and then I saw it one time with my mom and she actually came out liking it and she usually doesn't like sort of these action movies and stuff like that so while I was watching the movie in the theaters I was also kind of working at a movie theater at the time I kind of like this jacket here kind of caught my attention while watching the movie it was one of those things that I always thought would make a really cool sort of leather jacket in the vein of Poe Dameron and Finn and seeing as though I do have the Poe Dameron sort of X-Wing fighter pilot helmet. I figured that I would get this just because it kind of goes along with that. And if I ever wanted to take this to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, or if I want to take this to San Diego Comic-Con or New York Comic-Con, or even some of the other Star Wars conventions, such as Star Wars Celebration, if they eventually do those in the future, I could definitely do that. If I wanted to cosplay as Poe Dameron or Finn, I could definitely do that as I'm doing right now. This looks really, really good paired up with some of the lightsabers I have, such as the Ultra Saber stuff. For me personally, when I'm collecting movie memorabilia, I want really good sort of movie accurate props. And I was a little bit skeptical when buying this just because I never ordered anything from film jackets before I always heard good things about them from the other youtubers that I've watched videos of but I had not actually purchased a product from them and I kind of wanted to test this out because there are some stuff I saw on their website that I kind of wanted to take a look at in the future such as the Han Solo film jackets jacket they have actually several different versions like this one with the Poe Dameron and Finn jacket they do have a more weathered version which Sir James Gamer Fusion actually has and I thought that was a rather interesting sort of looking jacket but I wanted a more newer looking jacket especially with the fact that I'm going to be wearing this around in public and stuff and I don't want it to look like it's already been dirtied and disgusting looking. I'm sure over the time I'll wear and tear this a little bit and to the point where it'll get a little bit dirty, a little bit grungy like it is in the movies. But I'm not looking at 100% accuracy. I just want something cool to wear in my videos, especially if I talk about sort of the future Star Wars films that Disney's gonna be end up making in the future. And I think this is definitely gonna be a really interesting prop that I can wear, and especially if I go to the movie premieres and stuff and I kind of want to wear something that kind of resembles the jacket from the film. I can definitely wear this, especially when I'm going to those and stuff like that and movie screenings and things like that in the future. One of the things I really enjoyed about my time with The Force Awakens is I actually took my Kylo Ren helmet and I wore my Mass Effect sweatshirt and people wanted to take pictures and stuff like that and it was one of those things that really got me interested in cosplay and sort of the whole aspect of actually doing that and I actually really liked the fact that one of my fellow co-workers actually took my Kylo Ren helmet and was kind of running around the theater before the movie premiered and it was just a really good time just hanging out being a Star Wars fan in terms of The Force Awakens and I really wish that we could have had that with the other Star Wars films but last we kind of got a crappy movie with The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker is just kind of eh it's nothing too special it's nothing too bad if you like these Disney sequel trilogy films that's totally up to you. I don't really like them that much. I do sort of like The Force Awakens and Rogue One and a little bit of Solo occasionally, but you know, even that's just kind of meh. It's not even that great of a movie, but I don't fault Ron Howard for that, like I said before in my previous videos. I'm not going to reiterate that here just because you can kind of look at my other videos to kind of see what my viewpoints are in the future Star Wars movies and stuff like that currently. This is not the place for that, but I really do like this jacket. I really do dig sort of the quality that Film Jackets has kind of put into kind of making this a really decent sort of display piece if you want to do that and put that on a mannequin or something like that. If you want to use this as a cosplay piece you could definitely do that one of the things that's really iconic about this jacket is sort of this red patch here as well as this red stripe on the side you've also got this little black piece here which actually doubles as a pocket which is really nice so you can kind of stick like a wallet or credit cards or if you have sort of a ridge wallet you could probably put that in there i don't have a ridge wallet but i know a lot of youtubers do you've got some nice pockets in here and the material here is actually pretty nice when you're wearing it it's a little bit softer than leather this is actually real leather so if you are wearing it outside and it is raining or if it's snowing you don't want to be out there for long periods of time because it 
will show and it will damage the leather on here. I've already kind of ruined it a little bit here because I kind of dropped some water and stuff like that a little bit recently when I was drinking my coffee. But other than that, if you're not going to be outside for that long period of time and it's not raining and it's not snowing, if it's kind of nice out like in California or Florida or something like that, if you're going to Galaxy's Edge and kind of wearing this around, you're going to have a fun time wearing this around. So other than that, I don't really have any issues with it. This is not entirely movie accurate to the one that's in the film. So they have to kind of make changes here and there, but it's as close to movie accurate as you're going to get with wearing this thing. Another thing I like is there's pockets on this side as well. You got sort of this tan pocket here and then this bigger pocket in the inside of it. And you can put something a little bit larger in here and you could probably put like a wallet inside of that pocket here. You know, overall, I think that the quality and the build of this jacket is relatively nice. For an $180 jacket, especially with some of the more movie accurate ones that are out there in the movie licensed ones, you could be spending up to $500, $600. And for me personally, when I'm buying these cosplay items and stuff like that, I don't want to break the bank. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. And right now that film jackets is actually doing sort of a sale where you can get them for 20% off. I really do think that if you're going to be buying it, you should definitely check this out and get a really good deal. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just, you know, speaking on experience because I do like sharing things that I actually buy with you guys that I actually think are really cool. And I think that this jacket, if I had worn this uh, during the Force Awakens screening, I think I would have gotten a lot of compliments. This is definitely something that fans of the Force Awakens and Rogue One and some of the other Disney movies are definitely going to recognize from the movies. And the back of the jacket is actually really well made. The just design of the jacket is really nice. You know, all over there's just really good detail this jacket and it looks legit to the one that's in the movie. Literally when I pulled this out of the box, I did not stop wearing it the entire day that I had it yesterday. I'm still wearing it even to this day and stuff like that. And I'll probably be wearing that while I'm sort of editing videos and stuff for my channel. I really do think that if you're looking at picking up a jacket from Film Jackets, this is definitely the one that you should look at. There is a more weathered version of this. Like I said, that's a little bit more dirty, a little bit more grungy. That looks a little bit more like it's worn like the movie accurate one from the movies. But you know, each different one of these has a different variation to it. There's different pockets. You've got piece right here that doesn't really do anything. There's little bits and pieces here. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're ordering sort of the normal version, it's not magnetized or anything like that. It would have been cool to have a magnetized one so you could actually close that when you're kind of wearing it out in public, especially if it's going to be snowing or raining, but these aren't designed to be worn while raining. But I kind of understand why there's no zipper. And that's one of the things that really is a downer for me anyway, from purchasing this jacket. It takes a little bit of getting used to not having sort of the zipper in here because I'm so used to having jackets with zippers in them. But I think over time, I will get used to not having to zip this thing off every time that I have to leave and stuff like that. And I think over time, sort of the zippers get worn out anyway. So it's kind of nice not having to worry about that. I wonder if the Terminator jacket, which is another one that I was kind of looking at from Terminator Genesis kind of has a zipper on it just because it was something that I was also looking at. So there's different designs of these jackets out there from film jackets. I'm definitely looking at purchasing either a Han Solo or a Terminator one in the future. Film jackets wants to send me one to review. I'm definitely keen on doing that just because I really like their products. But as you can tell, I am wearing sort of a black shirt. When I originally wore this when I was taking pictures yesterday, I was kind of wearing a gray shirt. It didn't look that great with the gray and the tan kind of mixing together. But if you're wearing something like black or white, similar to what the Star Wars colors are within the films, I think you're going to have a really fun time wearing this around in public. I think you're going to get a lot of compliments. A lot of people asking you if this is actually the Poe Dameron and Finn jacket from Force Awakens. And I think that if you're one of those fans, you can definitely tell them that yes, indeed it is. And this is definitely going to be an eye catcher. Definitely going to be something you're going to want as a display piece in sort of your movie room and stuff like that. And especially something that if you want to go to movie premieres and stuff like that, you could definitely take this around. This did ship relatively fast. I was kind of worried of whether or not this was going to take a while just because I have ordered some ultra sabers, lightsabers, and they've yet to ship. But I kind of understand with everything going on, they can't necessarily get those out to me right now as fast as they normally do. So I'm kind of being patient and waiting for those to get here. So when those eventually do get here, I'll definitely do a review for you guys on my channel. But you know, as someone that reviews movies, as someone that's going to be reviewing the Star Wars movies in the future, as someone that's going to give them a chance, even if they're not that good, I think that as sort of a prop, as something to wear when I'm talking about these films, this is definitely something that you as a fan should get. Definitely considering the Han Solo Empire Strikes Back jacket from Film Jackets or possibly the Solo Star Wars Ray one, just because of the fact that this is a really cool, decent looking jacket. And you know, if this wasn't good quality, I would not be recommending it to you guys. I'd probably just tell you guys to buy from someplace else, but I do think that Film Jackets did a really fantastic job on this jacket. So thank you guys for shipping this out relatively quickly. I ordered it a couple weeks ago and it shipped relatively soon compared to the time that it normally takes for something like something from Amazon. It was a little bit later than that, but for $180, I think I definitely got my money's worth. I would have definitely bought it if it was $200 just because this is definitely a piece that is a showstopper. So I think that as a Star Wars fan, as someone that likes the Star Wars movies, as someone that liked The Force Awakens and The Rogue One, I think this is the jacket for you. So if you're looking at considering buying this jacket from Film Jackets, I would definitely say that you should do so. So if I was going to give this a rating, I would probably have to give my Film Jackets, Film Jacket, probably an A+. I think that the design quality is really good. I think the fact that this has so many pockets on here. One of these pockets actually has a pocket on the front as well as this side. 
side. I think that it's definitely worth considering buying if you're looking to buy this. So let me know in the comments section down below whether or not you're going to actually be buying this film jacket and slash poem jacket. Let me know if you're a fan of the sequel trilogy or if you're a fan of the original trilogy or the prequel trilogy, kind of like myself. I kind of like those a little bit more, but those are my personal preferences just because those are what I grew up with. And you know, as a Star Wars fan, I think this is definitely worth your time and money. So hopefully you guys learn a thing or two about the film industry. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.